Some things we want to like, it's unfair for us, and we won't be able to achieve it because of those things. That's the stuff that people are speaking on. But a lot of times, you know, it ain't got nothing to do with your circumstances. It's all about the uh, the decisions that you make. You mess with a stripper. Hey, you got to deal with it. Every time, you know, something happens, every time a leader fails a black community or one of our leaders, you know, is, uh, you know, surrounded by rumors and allegations, it's always had this not happened to this one particular person, we would have had this. We would have, we would have, we would have had a school. We would have had a network. It's always just one person. We're yeah. always one person away from, <laughs> from accomplishing something on a, on a, uh, Man, a we all, level. We always going to be one person away. <laughs> Because everybody got everybody got dreams, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's like it, it's like we do that in the hood. When somebody in the hood is supposed to get on or get that deal or, or make it to the NBA or whatever, we look at them like, "Hey, man, that's gonna be the savior right there." And when they and when they get kicked out the NBA in two or three years, or when they when uh the label stop them from putting out the album, man, man, we we almost had the dream. Because we, because we're, we're we're being too dependent on certain people, and some of those people don't have no idea of accountability. You don't have no accountability for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Admit that you messed up, and and that you know, and that stops you from attaining some of the things that you wanted in life. Some things we wanted like it's unfair for us, and we won't be able to achieve it because of those things. That's the stuff that people are speaking on. But a lot of times. You know, it ain't got nothing to do with your circumstances. It's all about the uh, the decisions that you make. You mess with a stripper, hey, you got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? You admit on deposition that you bought drugs for a woman for the purposes of having sex, and you and <laughs> somebody got drugs. You got to deal with it, especially when you go at the black community the way that you do. You want to talk about the black community, us having names that our parents gave us, and you mad because we got these names that are creative and spelt different ways. You mad because we don't go to school like you want us to go to. And when you're a college dropout yourself, and now it, now you're a, 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 you're a drug customer, but you don't expose this is that side of you, but you want to come at us like the old angry black man that don't understand young people growing up now. Then you joked about it back then when you were younger about buying drugs for women for the purposes of getting them to do whatever you want. So you got a whole Spanish fly with you. Deal with it. You made your bed, now lay in it. Or get up and get another bed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do something to make us forget it. It's gonna be hard because, you know, you've been hard on us. So now we now we return <laughs> now we return to the favor. <laughs> and, hey man, and, 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 and it ain't no witch hunt. It ain't no witch hunt. It ain't that I'm glad to see a black man fail. He ain't failing. He made a mistake. He really got away with it. His wife's still there. He still got all his money. It is what it is. 